Alrighty. We are jumping into champion select for Team 13 versus the Sea Nerds. Sea Nerds. Sea Nerds. But uh, Team 13 is going to be the blue team for tonight, and Sea Nerds is our purple team. And already we have two quick bans getting rid of AP mid assassins with Kassin and Fizz already off the board. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Kasten, I'm not too surprised about. Fizz, that's an interesting choice. It's something that's up and coming. People have really realized just the ridiculous amount of burst. And already Thresh and Draven getting taken out, actually. Draven is unexpected. Thresh, that's pretty normal. Thresh makes sense, though, at least for this team, because I've seen... I've noticed Darby's been playing a lot of Thresh lately. So okay. they probably scattered that out and just went for that pick. The Corky, though, a little interesting. Um... Never seen Mark play Corky to be quite honest. He's normally like he favors the Kate. Mm-hmm. Long range. Yeah. Uh Draven is really just the one I'm confused about right now. Yeah. That that I mean, ever since the passive change for Draven, he's just it, he's not the same. He's questionable at best. I he's I don't not too bad. With the last buff they did to him though, they made it so that his deck did all, all of his decks get consumed, so Right. I mean, he, he has a pretty solid mid game and his damage is still good. His early game just kind of just really took a tumble. Yeah, yeah, I suppose. I I haven't seen a Draven in ages, but I, I don't think that's targeted either. So that could be yeah. just something they it could be something that could be comp breaking for their bot lane. It may be just I, I don't think it's targeted. And there you go. Makes sense. Yeah, that would explain it. The vein is. That, that actually makes a lot of sense. They could go for the Caitlyn for the blue team, actually, and just try to completely shut out uh, Vayne. Okay. Yeah. They just can't. As long as they just don't get the late game, that'd be a really good... Uh, that was smart on, you know, Purple Side's team, you know, to make sure that they get their carry going because Mark is a very strong player on their team, so... Right. I would have actually liked to have seen a Kate ban if they were going to pick uh, Vayne because Draven... Yeah. He does have that early damage, but nobody really plays him anymore. Very true. And also, normally with the Vayne early, um, you kind of want a less aggressive support. I mean, unless you're actually mm -hmm. very confident in the lane. Um, so normally like a Sona or someone with some sustain is also very good. Like a Sona Nami's not too bad. Yeah, it, it's all about get through. keeping Vayne alive until the late game, keeping her safe. They could be going for just an all-in, get an early kill, and just get Vayne snowballing to hell. True. That that could be their goal here. Uh, Interesting pick up of the Kale. Don't see too many of those as of late. Um, but seeing Jason DK14 pick up Annie, that's a very common pick for him. I know that's one of his favorite champions, so... Yeah, and that'll be either. that'll be an interesting RA versus Annie mid lane. Not one I've seen in a long time. Yeah. Uh, Kale, I'm assuming, is going... Wait, hold on. That I could believe. be a support kale. Support kale or maybe they, even a jungle kale? <laughs> it, that could be jungle or support because they've got the Renekton for the top lane unless they're yeah. planning on jungle Renekton, which is supposedly <laughs> really good. I, I, yeah, it's definitely I, not bad. I, I don't know why you'd want to have him anywhere other than top lane. He needs that farm to get just massively tanky. And jungle Lee Sin getting locked in for CNR. So they're looking for that mobility. They actually don't have a whole lot of tank right now for the purple team. And uh, I'm confused again. That I, so, I suppose that is just a jungle kale? No. Uh, support that's, that's kale. Support kale. <laughs> yeah. Very interesting pick. I mean, they could just be going for it for the all encounter to Leona, which, which would make sense, but that was a... And, and I mean, it could be designed to confuse. I, I don't know. So, interesting <laughs> picks. Um, I'm so confused. I mean, the team their... itself isn't a bad looking team. I mean, Kale is still like, you know, semi decent, but mm -hmm. no, she's not really a strong support and she kind of needs gold to do well late game. Like, I mean, she has a good ultimate. Um, you know, yeah, I mean, she's, but... she's going to be a haste bot and an ultimate bot come late game. That's the thing. Pretty much. Which? And the gra Graves. Okay, uh, usually you want to see Graves with a burst of your support, but I mean, yeah. they could be going for just some kind of ridiculous all-in lane, but... And 
<laughs> no surprise with this guy got picked up Rebel. That's one of his uh, go-to champs. It was either that or I'm assuming the Jax was going to be picked there too. Yeah, the Jax would have... Eh, I don't think they wanted to set that up against Renekton, but that yeah. I guess that's going to be a jungle Renekton. Support Kale uh, and oh, oh. Wukong in the top lane. Interesting picks. I like this though. <laughs> that's definitely really interesting. That's going to be a really, really tanky jungling lizard just coming screaming out of the jungle. It's going <laughs> to stun people up, pop his ultimate, and be able to dive really, really well in combination with the uh, Kale ultimate. Then you've got the burst coming from Graves and Ari's charm. So that actually has a surprising amount of synergy. I wasn't really expecting that. That's nice. That's cool. And then we got the You have to look at the Graves with the Ignite, though. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, he's going, again, they're going for damage and kind of probably a surprise factor, to be honest. Yeah. Especially considering the purple team has um, a lot of AoE control. They're going to be looking to lock people down on top of the, uh, the Rumble Ultimate. I'm kind of surprised we didn't actually see a Jarvan coming from... Uh, yeah, that would have worked yeah. well. I, I don't or even think... Sona. Yeah, I don't think Patrick plays a huge amount of Jarvan. Yeah. But... Eh, we'll That's see how fine. it works. The Leona and the Rumble make enough sense that that should work for them. In terms of team comp, what are you uh, giving right off the bat? Who are you thinking has uh, a slight edge? I'm definitely going to say the purple team. There's a lot more synergy there. There's a, a yeah. lot of damage coming from them and a lot of mobility. But at the same time, the blue team has a huge amount of AoE. They've got a lot of t a lot more tankiness and just the surprise factor coming from that blue side is going to be massive we'll see if purple team's like ready to deal with stuff they've probably never seen before so yeah true the jungle renekton is definitely interesting to pick i've played it a couple times it's not bad like it, he has solid sustain and decent clear times like it's definitely not a bad choice but mm -hmm. um it's definitely something that hasn't been seen too often so that yeah. is true I mean, they, they could have been looking just to deny the pick, possibly. Um, but even then, uh, I mean, it's, it's, I think the make or break for this, this team in general, like, the bottom lane is going to be a big factor for both these teams. Like, if the blue side can shut down the main early, mm -hmm. um, and recognize, like, you know, that they have a really weak early game, and they can completely, it, the Graves is actually a pretty smart pick against this, because he has a neat, you know, tankiness. Right. already based off his passive and he is a disengage or a dive essentially from any like crowd control that you know the purple side can throw right at them so yeah he can just quick draw to the leon ultimate across yeah. the uh equalizer from rumble so i mean looking at the comps really they're both kind of surprising purple team i think their comp could have been a little bit better they do have the aoe lockdown of annie and leona sure. which that that works well enough. They don't really have anybody to keep Bane safe. They're they're really looking to go aggressive. That's the thing. Yeah. That Wukong may uh, may pose a few issues. Yeah, he's he's going to be looking to just dive and just destroy Bane, and it'll really come down to whether him and Renekton. They do have the dive buddy cop, which is interesting. Yeah. And then Kale, she's not going to be able to peel very well, but neither neither does Leona for that matter. So. Yeah doesn't make a huge amount of difference it's, this is this is two really really all-in teams and it should be fun to watch yeah definitely will be interesting and then i don't know if anyone of everyone would practice like level ones like strat so we'll see who <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah see what yeah that'll be interesting because right. in terms of level one teams i think i would i would give level one to blue side yeah, they have a lot more scouting. They've got, they can have a lot of hard CC coming out at level one. Between the Leona stun, uh, you're gonna have Lee Sin being able to scout with his Q if he decides to take that first. Vayne is very, very mobile. Wait, that's purple team. Never mind. <laughs> uh oh, look at the pool. the pool party is coming out. Ooh, they've got the double pool party. At ooh, 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 it could have been, it could have potentially been a really. <laughs> Let's see, we hit. Well, we've got Team Foreskin in the top in um, blue side, so GG. they're they're automatically going to win this. <laughs> <laughs> GG. Yeah, Team Three Skin on the bot. Eh, they, uh, not quite. It, for, and then that Renekton skin is by far one of my favorite skins right now. That B animation is just hilarious. Spamming that sitting spamming up in it. the top lane is so much fun. 
I love doing that. It is so, it is a very cool skin. You, you can just bounce around across the map. That's really all you have to do. It's the perfect taunt too, because he he stands up and starts screaming at people. Yeah. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. At least I, it's I, not bad. I I will say it is. It is. I like the Q animation. Uh huh. Where he throws but, a drink. <laughs> yeah, but literally, at least in like I mean, he has a lot of good skins. I think, but. Yeah, I I, I had the um, what was it the. The original Lee Sin skin, what was that one called? Traditional the, or whatever it was. The Acolyte or whatever. Is Not that? Acolyte, the other one. The one where he's oh. got the the tiger tattoos on his arms. Ooh, I know what you're talking about. Oh, what the heck is that? What is that skin called? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have to go look this up. This is frustrating. There's like Muay, there's like Muay Thai. The, there's, your, there, yeah, there's the Muay Thai, Dragon the Dragon Fist, which is the Bruce Lee skin. Yeah. Which is pretty cool too. I mean, uh, that's the one I wish I had. I, I got pool party and uh, I think it's called traditional Lee Sin. Probably is. Yeah, traditional. Okay. All right, so we are in game. These really quick starts they got going on here. Yeah, and interestingly enough, Leona doesn't have a huge number of points into the support tree. You can see that she doesn't have the uh, Explorer Award or the uh, Biscuit. That is very true. She's probably invested a lot deeper into the defense tree. Defensive tree. Because yep. she has 47 armor, 47 matter resist, yes. And then her health, yep, 53. So she went defense. But I would still say most Leonas will go like kind of like lead towards the defense tree, but never go all the way down. Still, not enough points to get those early, you know, that the very support esque, you know, yeah, essentials. I mean, usually you see, I think it's uh, 0, 13, 17 is standard on Leona, yeah, uh, deep enough to get all the points that you kind of need for an essential Leona start, but enough into the defense tree that you're a little bit tankier than normal. But, all right, so early invade, yeah, purple team, they do have that AoE Annie stun up, she did take the um, uh, incinerate. Uh -oh. Incinerate first. Oh, and Wukong's going to get caught. He is slowed. Vayne is putting damage down. Oh, the there, there's flash the condemn the and yep, he had to flash out. Go. It forced the flash though. That's really good. That that definitely means we're going to see some early uh, ganks up in the top lane. And bot lane defensive around the um, red buff here. Something to note though, Vayne did start condemn first, so. Yeah, she's going to be lacking a little bit of that hitting power. That could mean for more ganks in, in the bot lane as well. well. We'll have to see how they play that. And let's get these so icons. We're just going to go straight to the red. But, to not in vain though, but uh, the Kale did get some good wards out. So now they're going to see that, you know, they're not actually going to invade that, bu that buff. Well, actually, uh, at, least, at least they know when Lee's doing his blue. Yep. They they do have a they kind of invested a lot of wards down there. They that was the explorer and I believe a normal ward. Yeah, a normal warm at red. Uh the red actin could look to steal mm. that. He started he's actually fairly low right now, so Ooh, he's just gonna transfer straight over to their blue and take that for himself. There are no uh probably team wards on this blue buff, so he's gonna get that and get away clean seeing hopefully he won't die to the you know, oh, but up uh -oh. in the top lane, Lee Sin is sitting around. He's got his red buff. And I need to go now. Ooh. <sighs> I think a little too early, though. Yeah, yeah. they they didn't Ooh. have anywhere yeah. near enough damage. And taking a few tower Rumble. shots, that's going to more or less even it out. Rumble did not have his level 2. Nope, they didn't have the damage for that. But Wukong, he's getting a little bit greedy. Lee Sin is still sitting up here, leeching the EXP, looking for some action. Uh, still not enough though. Mm -mm. And taking and a turret blast. Yet another tower shot. Oh, this is, that's oh, gonna be again. first blood. That's first blood. Oh, oh wow. Oh. Patrick giving up the first blood, getting over aggressive, taking that turret shot. Well played by Wukong. That was a bit unexpected. And now Renekton going over to his blue buff. Gotta take both of them for himself. <laughs> Lee Sin has no buffs. This is gonna be hard for him to keep up. True. That was very, uh, that was very ballsy. I mean, it could have worked out, but they just, the, I think the communication at the top just didn't happen. 
Yeah, they they had burned that early flash, which they it was a good idea to try and take advantage of that, but they just they didn't have the damage to actually. Oh, mid lane. Ooh. Oh my, uh, Annie. Any... Oof, that yeah, was a close that, one. That health pot kept her alive, and Ari. I actually don't know that matchup very well. I don't play a huge amount of mid lane, but I mean, the very good job it's... by Ari so far. It's not ours is a strong laner in general at the moment. I mean, especially if she doesn't get a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. So like like pre six, that's her most vulnerable state. But afterwards, like I mean, she's just a roaming beast. And then once she gets DFG, she can like she can solo anyone. But yeah. the Ari Andy matchup isn't like too bad because Andy can sit back and wait. Because like I mean, level six is also like a huge power spike for her as well. Oh, and a lot so, of fighting going on in the jungle here. Uh, Lisa and looking for. A kill, he might be able to get buffs back. Oh, the flash from Renekton, though. That was actually... Yeah, not giving up those buffs was a good idea. Kale actually roaming up towards the... Red buff here. They've got pings going down on Lee Sin. They know he's in the area. Ari's sitting around. Renekton as well, sitting at... Um, race, gonna do those. Ooh, he needs to get out. And the miss from the Q from Lee Sin. That, that was very, very dangerous. Ooh, but it's here a very comes... interesting spot. I yeah. don't know if Ari can actually get this completely, but I mean, just definitely harass enough that the Renekton's way too low to commit to anything at this moment. Yeah, unfortunately, he's just gonna tax mid lane, and uh, Renekton's finally back. He's going to actually pick up Madrid's Razors. Hmm. Interesting choice, but I think it's it's almost like what will happen is like once level three or four pick ticks around, um, mm -hmm. those minions in the jungle. Do pose a little problem, so he's trying to. I think he's focusing more on clear times more than anything else. Right. I don't know if he'll actually upgrade that to a Riggles. He'll probably just sit on that, almost like a Shen kind of s jungle where they would just buy the Riggle or the, you know, the, like the Machete and then early Madrids and just sit on it, never upgrade it. Yeah, I'm. I I would have actually liked to have seen the um, what is it, the Ancient Golem? I think that would have actually done pretty well on him. But no, I think it would too as well. Botlane farm looking uh, fairly even, despite you know even like uh, some of the pokes not going really blue sides lane. But I mean that vein having the extra farm on top without any you know contention. Yeah. That's only that's a ticking time bomb. If you let that get, you know, big. Level six is a huge power spike for rain. So. Uh, but at the same time, Graves' burst at level yeah, six Graves is, is going to be enough to just completely kill out Vayne. And especially if they get a good Kale ultimate off, um, True. he's going to take no damage for two seconds, where that's like more or less the entire Leona combo, is two seconds worth of CC early on. Ooh, when we have a fight in the top lane, Renekton showing up a little bit late as Wukong going a little bit aggressive onto... Uh, who was that? Rumble. And... A yeah, a pink ward actually going to take that out, so he's going to look to return... Uh, Rumble and Lee, neither of them have wards. Lee dropping a ward of his own on his own red buff. Check out that Draven flow. Take a moment to soak it in. <laughs> that, that fabulousness. I love how his hair just waves in the wind Twist. on the ward. That, that's so fabulous. It's so good. <laughs> and we have Lee Sin coming in for a lane gank, looking to try and win back some of the uh, wasted aggression up in the top lane. And there's the ultimate coming from Wukong. He's actually going to burn that. He's going to flash onto Rumble. Rumble doesn't have his up. ultimate yet, but Wukong is completely out of mana. So, that was uh, uh, oh. Ooh, interesting. And that last auto attack, yep, the, actually, the kill going to um, Jason there in the mid lane. Ari getting a little bit aggressive, probably getting caught out with that uh, Tibber stun there. Also something to note, the amount of CS difference in mid lane at the moment. Oh yeah, and uh, can I just point out that's a Giants belt, Ari. Yeah, she just... I I'm just curious broke. about that, needless to say. I don't know if she's trying to rush Rylai's and then decided that, you know, the AP wasn't, you know, completely <laughs> necessary at the moment. <laughs> yeah, but... yeah, that's, that's questionable at best. She could be just looking to Sustain try and through. Yeah, tank out the, uh, the Annie burst, oh. more or less. True. I mean, that could, be, that could be, like, maybe she just trusts her, you know, innate damage and the true damage on top of her passive to begin with, but mm -hmm. still... A little questionable. Uh, as of right now, normally the meta would be to rush like a DFG. Ooh, a lot of damage. Like There's the Vayne ultimate going down to the bot lane. And she's actually uh, exhausted right now. And the Leona, her oh, E misses. Dead. And there is the oh. barrier coming from Vayne. Vayne getting oh, taken down. These nice. stuns just 
the uh, exhaust just barely too late from uh, Leona, and Blue Side has to back off because Leeson did show up just in time to save Leona. And Ari going really aggressive down in the mid lane yet again, pushing up all the way to the turret. Leeson is going to stick around bot lane, looking, trying to make something happen. Uh, Graves is very low right now, but I don't think Lee wants to give up another right kill. He doesn't have the items really to dive yet, and Leona has no health. Can't really afford to give up his double buffs again. That would really, that would just almost like take away what Elisa's there for. Exactly. Uh, and Renekton actually sitting up at the top lane right now. Soaking up some XP. Yep. He, he is level, level 6. Level boat, yeah. He does have that ultimate available. Uh, Leeson just hit level 6 off the bot lane. And he's actually headed towards mid. There is a ward here though. So they're going to see him. Ari needs to get out of there. She's taking Ooh. a lot of damage, but <laughs> the Lee Sin following up with the Q going all the way in. Ari is just going to burn all Ooh. three parts, and yeah, up in the top lane, up. Renekton and uh, Wukong picking up a kill on the Rumble. Here comes Annie. Blue She's lane getting started by mm, die seven. And <laughs> they're they trying to do the yeah. dragon, and they're both going to die. <laughs> yeah, uh, that was a good roam up top though by the. Oh. Lee Sin is here, but he doesn't have any items still. This is a very, very dangerous dragon. The raid boss will take everyone's life. Oh, oh they got that. it just barely. And Patrick gets less than 100 health out of there. <laughs> Same with Vayne. She got very, very low. Leona was almost dead. <laughs> that was close. Lee he had been in there. After that one. <laughs> he really does. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see, take a step back and look across the map what's going on. Top lane is definitely going in the favor of Wukong. Uh, Rumble does have a few CS ahead of him, but the one kill, that first blood as well, just giving Rum uh, Wukong a huge advantage. With the machete as well, or the, sorry, the team at, so he's looking to go a little bit more damage at first, hopefully. I mean, it, it would be wise to actually start going tank afterwards. Right, I, I've seen Wukongs get... Uh, Hydra directly into Last Whisper, and then just straight tank, and you do Demolish, just yeah. absurd amounts of damage. Just the amount of pin he gets, and Rumble looking to go really aggressive here. All of the health regen keeping Wukong really high up, actually. And here comes Renekton there. He actually wandered out of the bush, so he got seen out and has to get uh, back away. But down in the bot lane, the item swing is definitely going in Graves' favor. He has a BF Sword, Vamp Scepter, Dorn's Blade, compared to Vayne's Cutlass and uh, Dorn's Blade. So yeah. that is a, a really big advantage for Graves. And that's kind of the scary thing, is Vayne is never going to have the health to just completely straight tank out of Graves' burst. Yeah, she, she's really just banking on late game. Oh, and here comes yet another gank by... Uh, Lee Sin. Oh, wow. Oh! And he still gets it, though. <laughs> yep, I believe he burned Ignite for that. And that's yep, a dead he Annie did. as well. And, yeah, Annie oh. died in the mid lane. Good job by Renekton picking that up. Bot lane just continuing to farm. Um, and actually, yeah, Wukong, no, uh, Rumble got the kill up in the top lane, so that was actually really well played by him. He yeah, did manage to scold on top, too, so. Mm -hmm. That was a little bit in their was... favor. Yeah. <laughs> Wu did get the Vamp Scepter, so now he's actually going to be able to sustain just straight through all of the Rumble damage. Some of the communication Ooh, down in the bot lane, Vayne getting really, really low. Just barely getting out of there with less than 100 health. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt you, but... Yeah, no, the communication in the bot lane, I think, is a little off-kilter, because, like, I mean, <laughs> they, the dives from the Leona are coming at really odd times, so I think... Uh, yeah, they need Things to work need to on mesh there. A well. yeah. And yeah, back in the mid lane, Ari actually getting the turret first, surprisingly enough. She's been able to push Annie up to the turret for the most part. And the gank by, ooh, 2v2 up in the top lane in the meantime. And Lee Sin getting really, really low. He's actually going to fall to uh, Rumble. And Rumble, gotta get out of there. Ooh. Actually, no, he's he's just gonna get away clean. Wukong gonna pick up yeah. yet another kill. Put the flash for it though. So, I mean, a flash is down, but that was... Oh, great counter game. Uh, yeah, that, I, I think the flash was a little yeah. bit unnecessary. A, a few more seconds, he would have had his E available. 
<laughs> Renekton ru rushing a Hydra as well, so they're going just straight Stop, fighter builds. Much, yeah. <laughs> they're looking to do a lot of damage, yeah. And I mean, that makes sense on Renekton. He's got plenty of tankiness with his ultimate. Got enough armor coming from Madrid's uh, to really kind of sustain through the early game. Ooh, and Annie roaming up top. Just going to farm up, actually. Pretty much. That was a smart move by Ukon to just relax back. Yep, he needs... He, it's like, the farm advantage is actually swayed back in his favor, and it's actually a very, very low farm lane in top. Just There's been so much fighting. The jungler presence has been just massive up in the top lane. I know Patrick loves to camp top lane, and unfortunately it hasn't actually worked out for them yet. True. And so oh, the charm... is up in two. I'm assuming that, hopefully, that the blue side will... <laughs> Be able to, to pick this one that. up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they they need to equalize the dragons, and it'll it'll keep them into the game. The they do have the gold advantage, but they need to work on trying to snowball their lead right now. Sure. Mm. And uh, let's see here. I don't know if they're gonna try to roam into that, they would be <laughs> not a wise move to go to that blue at the boat. Yeah, no, that's more or less the entire purple team right there. Sans Annie, who is <laughs> more or less traded up into the top lane. I think they're they're actually doing a lane swap here to try and yeah. shut Wukong down. He does have the full Hydra though, so that's that's getting actually pretty scary. And Annie, she's got uh -oh. the makings of Death Cap, but we're seeing the ultimate come out of oh, Wukong. Uh oh. Alright, so ult burn there. Yeah, a lot of uh, spells Ooh. getting burned by the purple team. And they actually lose the turret in the bot lane. They're going to have to try and equalize with the turret mid. Yeah, I, th I believe they're going to get that. Yeah. But, ooh, god, here comes Wukong in the bot lane. And this this purple team is very, yeah, very gonna, low. Yeah, they're going to clean up. Oh, look at all that damage. Is he actually going to be able to get any kills? He is exhausted right now. And a lot of damage. There goes the charm onto Wukong. And Gray oh, is like picking up the clean the kill on Vayne. Oh, and Annie not able to actually get the cleanup. That was a very, very clean fight for the purple team going three for... for the... <laughs> yeah, three for O. Oh, and Annie just wasn't in time to keep her team alive. And that's going to be yet another turret for the uh, blue team. Yeah, they've, they're definitely uh, doing very well on the rotations. They cleaned up in mid lane while uh, they're... Really, their bruisers actually held their own against that turret. They did lose that first mid turret and the double ward going down as they head to Dragon. Communication OP. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> you, you can never have enough wards, though. Sure. It, it's just... I, and, I mean, you have to look at the map. There are five wards. I, I mean, six wards, seven, eight, nine wards for the blue team out right now. And only one for the purple team. That is a uh, two for the purple team. That is a huge, huge vision creep for this blue team right now. And they're doing a really, really good job at keeping that vision. A and a lot of the wards are actually in the blue team jungle, which it it's letting them know where Leeson is. He has yet to make an impact on this game. He's sure. 0 3 and 1, and he's actually just going a complete tank build, so he's not going to have any damage compared to the Renekton, who has Hydra already. 17 minutes, and Renekton has Hydra. Yeah, this is a... Uh, they both have Hydra, actually, and that's not good. <laughs> this is rapidly, rapidly, uh, like, scaling out of control for the blue team. Oh, but we have uh, three men down in the bot lane. We do have Kale and um, Graves. Graves getting a little bit aggressive, looking to clean up all this farm. And actually, they're going aggressive on Vayne. A lot of decks. And there goes uh, oh, Graves. And Graves getting back out. Oh, and the Kale ultimate didn't actually go <laughs> off in time, unfortunately. Lee kicking her back. And she's actually going to get knocked away by the tumble and get out safe. And, yep. She's trying to run intervention on this turret. But, oh, there goes the Lee Sin. A lot of damage going out. And she's actually going to burn her yeah. ultimate. And there's the Q coming from Lee. Is he doesn't actually oh. seem to have enough damage. Full tank Lee. <laughs> yeah. Can't do anything, unfortunately. <laughs> and that, that goes a little ways in the purple team trying to equalize the gold. It's only a 3k advantage right now in the blue team's advantage, so... 
they're doing a good job to hold on. They they haven't really been letting much just go to waste. This top this this Renekton is funny. It's kind of turned itself into almost I know the top laner. Yeah, a second top laner. His build is definitely very damage centric. Looking for the early damage clear, and actually they're going for the straight dive on top lane. Do they have they the damage go. though? There goes the ult. This is... Yep. Oh, that is gonna go down. Yep. Unfortunately. And you got in Rumble got the shutdown gold as well. So. That's a big advantage to him. Who he hasn't actually made a huge amount of a uh, moves on Ooh. his own. Ooh, and that that's gonna be a kill to Annie. So. Yeah. Purple team now making a definite comeback with their own rotations here. Lee Sin finally having a little bit of a impact down on the bot lane, and now they're looking to get another turret. They do have to be mindful. This Annie does hit like a truck at the moment, and she already has her death cap, which is look. I'm assuming she's going to go right into Azania's afterwards. So, yep. She's... Very deadly Annie at the moment. Yeah, and uh, like down down in the mid lane, R8. Who is 1-1-2 one, one, and two with 105 CS, only has Rylai's and uh, Sork Boots, so it's really not an even matchup right now, because Annie's just massive with yeah. Death Cap, Seekers, and the uh, Sork Boots, so... Down in the bot uh, lane, Vayne going aggressive on Kale. I'm missing the uh, Leon ultimate. Uh... Vayne is going to burn her ultimate. Graves needs to put some damage out, though. That, ooh, that's, that's... a dead Graves as well. Oh, that's not good. Bane grabbing a double on that. And now Ari's actually getting caught out. She does have the charm, putting a little bit of damage across. She burns her ultimate, and this is now rapidly turning back into the purple team's favor. A couple of misplays, and it, it's just rapidly, rapidly starting to dissolve for the blue team here. Yep, that's, another, that's a turret down. So gold is about to gonna even up a little bit. Yeah, less than a thousand of... Uh, advantage in the uh, blue team's favor. Only 700 now, actually. Just, just between floating between 700 and 800 as uh, purple team five manning down in the bot lane. <laughs> as Wukong is going to look to get a second turret here, Rumble is using those home guards. Pretty close. Um, oof, Looks yeah. like oh, there the Rumble. That was a smart. Ult. Looks like he's still gonna just decide to take it out. Yep. At, ooh. He nice. actually flashes oh, up, Ooh. Drop. but yep, yeah, Rumble follows with his own flash. With the, you know, that, that was really good. I, th I think in all though, I mean, it's still a win on their part because mm -hmm. they did. Uh, they closed. They got. Uh, it's about like a three hundred gold wins. So, yep. <laughs> maybe not so much. They they and did. The ex they did expand the gold uh, lead just a little bit, uh, back to one thousand two hundred, and it's holding steady right there. The farm advantage. It's actually fairly even. The difference you see on the mid lanes is more or less made up between top and jungle, so... The biggest discretion is that redneck in jungle, and the, and the Lisa in jungle. Yeah, that's a whole 50 CS difference. The, th the unfortunate thing is Renekton doesn't have a lot of tankiness yet, and he's sure. actually been diving fairly hard, so he needs to try and tank up, especially with that Annie burst and then Vayne. That's the, the vein is going to be scary because she does. She did hit that critical mass where she got the blade of the rune king and um, zeal right now. So she's got that attack speed. She's going to be hitting hard. But we could see our first five-man team fight here, and um, Rumble is coming down. His ultimate is actually back up. So they're going to have all of the ultimates for both team fights for this team fight. A couple of flashes are down. Go with straight dragon. Yep. Blue team's just gonna ward up. Ari's gonna try and keep them uh, busy in mid, and Don't they're just gonna, the yep, they're just gonna crush down this dragon really, really quickly. Purple team's not gonna be able to get there in time. Ooh, and Ari actually landing the charm on Lee Sin. Wukong needs to be careful. Nice, that was a good decoy. Yeah, blue team gets out clean. They didn't want to get caught at dragon, so they're just gonna back out. Uh, increasing the gold advantage yet again back to 2,000, but Vayne has a massive la uh, wave of farm. Yeah, that's that's gonna be a few hundred at the very least. And pings on mid lane. They know where Annie is. She's heading to this blue buff. Ooh, they could be looking to catch her out. They know she's sitting there. And there's the blue buff spawn. Oh. She's looking to catch somebody. 
There comes Rumble as well. He's yeah. Possibly... This is interesting. <laughs> nope, they're they're just gonna head back to mid lane. Never mind. <laughs> oh, okay. Annie appears in the bush, <laughs> hunting, stalking yep. her prey. All of that little... posturing for nothing. <laughs> but little does she know, the counter gank awaits. Yeah, they're they were they were ready for it. They did have the Ari charm. They had Renekton ready to pop his ultimate and jump on her if she actually tried to fight that. So that was a smart decision by her not to run into the four men on the enemy team with just a True. 2v4. That could have... They do have a lot of AoE, admittedly, but uh, not enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that Graves back animation is funny, too. All the Pulse Party skins I was pretty impressed with. Minus the Leona wasn't really too... I actually like the Leona one, where she uh, kicks back on the sun chair and pops out her umbrella, finally. Yeah, I mean, it's not it's not bad, but in terms of, like, all the other ones, like, yeah, Ziggs is still probably my favorite. Uh, Ziggs and Renekton are just too good. I, I love the Renekton one. I don't remember the Ziggs ones. I haven't actually used that since, since I got it. It's really and, good. Uh, the only thing, the back animation, there is none. Ooh, and actually, Van getting ooh. caught out with the charm, unfortunately, blue team was not quite in a position to capitalize. Leona taking a bunch of free shots from Graves there, though. And... We might see a five-man team fight here. Both teams... Uh, Leona is fairly low, but that's really it right now. Oh, they're gonna fight over this red buff. Oh, they, they just gave over. The, they gave that up, though. Now they're, they they're, know. they're sitting on a ward, though. They, they've known for a while here. And actually, Lee Sin getting damage out. Renekton looking to engage. Oh, Renekton steals it with a smite. Ooh, that's a really good equalizer. But oh, there's wow. the Wukong ultimate. There's the Graves. The uh, Renekton ultimate. Oh, look at that. Oh, that damage. That's just massive, unfortunately. And Vayne, getting, gonna get dropped down. If they can get just okay. one more shot, whoop. Oh, Renekton has to back out, though. He's very, very low. He jumps into Baron Pit and is gonna get back out. That was a two for three, actually, in the favor of the blue team, just barely. But both Wukong and Graze were at full health, where the uh, Vayne and Leona were, were dwindling. It, they were both at less than a third health each. Vayne, just a few hits left on her. Unfortunately, they couldn't get the CC onto her in time. But Wukong and Graves are going to look to push out or not, maybe? Nope. Okay. Sad face. All in all, that was a great wiggle. I don't think the flash out was completely necessary. I assumed that he was just trying to, like, preemptively dodge that annual. But yeah. I think his presence in the fight itself probably would have been a little more beneficial if he stayed. That annual did do lots of damage. It, it, it was just dropped on three people. It was a really good ult. It, it was literally what saved that fight for them. Like it made it. Yeah, so that that could have gone them. much much worse for them. So they did salvage that a little bit. Unfortunately, it still go did go in the favor of the blue team. And Renekton is now starting to tank up. He has Sunfire and a Ruby Crystal. That's yeah, he's this this Renekton's look getting a little out of hand actually. Yeah, and he he's got the damage to back it up with Hydra too, so they need to be very careful about that. Between him and Wukong, they're gonna be able to start just diving Vayne over and over again. Especially with the Kale ultimate, that worked really well on Wu uh, yeah. Renekton. He dodged more or less all of the damage from the burst there. But purple team posturing around Baron, setting up for a top lane push. Oh, Wukong, you need to be careful. No, Wu, don't. Oh, and he drops the ward. Actually, actually gets knocked away by the Vayne, the okay. condemn. And then that's that's one ult at least. I don't think yeah, Vayne still has her, so. Vayne still has her. That was just equalizer burned. Uh, They have almost all of their ultimates. They have all of the ultimates available for uh, blue team. Dragon is going to be up in a minute. They could be setting up for Baron, possibly. That is... Very dangerous prospect. They are sitting on a ward right now, too, so they know the purple team is moving around here. More and more wards moving back towards mid, and the entirety of the blue team still sitting in top lane. <laughs> yeah, that wave. Primo, primo gold. Yep, they gotta farm that up. And Vayne has wow, pulled ahead wave. in the farm. Uh, Annie hasn't actually been farming that much. Uh, Ari is slowly, slowly catching up. Still a 50 CS difference, more or less. But that is a massive wave in the bot lane that they need to go respond to. And they're all going to be looking for a red buff fight yet again. 
Renekton does There's have a uh, blue buff. Oh, and that was a flash too. Yeah, Patrick burning his flash, so he looked to probably be getting behind Ari to try and yeah. kick her into his team. She could have just spirit rushed away, and she insect mechanics. <laughs> Minus the insect mechanics. <laughs> yeah, that that's that's. Uh, Patrick wishes he was insect. That that. QQ. He, needs a, he needs a spirit stone for it. <laughs> yeah, he really does. That's actually, I'm, I'm a little bit surprised seeing us, like, how far behind he was and how they really don't have a huge amount of vision. That spirit stone on Lee would have been really good. And he wouldn't have to waste his flash trying to engage. <laughs> Ooh, but purple team, they're going to look to do dragon. Blue team knows this, though. This is going to be a dragon fight. 30 minute dragon fight. They've they've got. Oh, the king push of death. Oh god, this is this is scary. It's be interesting to see. Looks like they're gonna go around. I don't know if that was exactly. That's actually better engagement. Yeah. They don't know where they are right now, and here comes Charm actually misses out, and they're just gonna go in there. There's the Wukong ultimate, Renekton as well, Annie having to actually burn out her. Um... Sonya's there. And Wukong jumping in really, really deep, and I don't think he's going to get Annie. Actually, yeah. Annie does fall, and now Graves has gotten forced out. Ari as well. That's a dead vein. Oh, yeah, and there's there goes Leona as well. Both Kale and... Oh, nope. Vein. Nice. Leona actually gets out, and Rumble gets taken down by the combination of uh, Ari and Graves, and that's yet another cleaned-up team fight by the blue team there. Four for one. Just, that's... This is getting... It's Renekton is a beast. <laughs> he really is. He's 8, 2, and 6 right now. Let's check the gold. He's actually got more gold than the top laner. He actually has the most gold in the game as a jungler. Yeah. That That's very impressive. And, and he's built really well. He's got the, the damage to back it up with that Hydra. That was a really good pickup on his part. He was able to get it so early, too. First in hit. And... Our first inhib is going to go down at 30 minutes, in, minutes into the game. Oh. Ooh, and Renekton actually going to get caught out. <laughs> the Vayne burning the ultimate. She doesn't actually get that third hit. And there it goes. Oh. A lot of damage. Ooh, and he condemns oh, and he flash. flashes over the wall. At the last second, he's going to have slice and dice in five seconds. Vayne's oh, ultimate has passed off, uh, turned off. Oh, but he doesn't have any backup. He's just trying to make it again. to that wall. He's trying to make it. Oh, the Annie stun! The Annie oh, stun! Uh, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the vein bolt followed him across the wall. That, that was, was a seven. huge amount of shutdown gold going to vein. That that's not good. Fortunately, just overstaying his welcome by a few seconds, and he got caught out. Hmm. Not, they're not actually going to do Baron. They're going to look to shove down mid lane. Renekton is a lot of the damage and the tank for this team. And blue team, unfortunately, they're out of position right now. They're not going to be able to defend against this um, mid lane push. Oh, and Graves getting completely caught out and just immediately bursted down. Oh, the yeah. Annie jumping on top. And now Leona going in. Spirit Rush Ari from Ari getting her out of the fight. Uh, this is... Like this could be a, uh, an inhibitor in response. This is going to be an inhibitor in response. <laughs> Graves, 30 seconds. Renekton is up. Unfortunately, they're going to need Graves for that damage. And what are they going to do? They're going to shift down to bot lane, perhaps? Oh, Vayne is very, very far forward, though. She's going to back off a little bit. Ward's going down. Wukong jumping in, and there goes Renekton. Oh, and Vayne just gets melted. Completely and utterly melted. Yep. And now <laughs> Renekton is just going to pop his <laughs> ultimate and keep Annie out of the fight. Uh, Lee Sin looking to keep himself alive as Renekton continues to, uh... uh that was a really early... Yeah, questionable at best. Oh, but there goes Annie. Oh, right. poor Annie. And Ari actually picking up her second kill of the game. She has her own Zanyas now to match. <laughs> and Annie going for the Rylize. They're just replicating the builds. Yep. <laughs> Ooh, Lee Sin, very, very low. Oh, oh Renekton, you... you... Please no! Oh, da, 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 da. <laughs> oh Patrick, you 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 lucky. poor lucky bitch. Oh, uh, he's just barely gonna get out. That was so close. <laughs> but Renekton is going to actually pick up the uh, purple team's red buff. So he's doing a good job there, keeping uh, the not the denial. 
And blue team going to pick up another turret of their own. Um, blue team still has the turret advantage and only a 5k gold lead considering how close this game is. It's very, very back and forth at this point. Graves starting on, I assume, what's an, going to be an affinity edge before yep. too long. Vayne, she has a Negatron cloak. Interestingly enough, even though most of the damage coming from the... Blue team is actually physical. Other than Ari, there really isn't much magic damage. Probably, I, I don't know why she went to buy that first, but I'm assuming she's trying to build that into... Guardian um, Angel? Yeah, Guardian Angel, or maybe... Uh, actually, it's, it had to be Guardian Angel. I'm thinking, I mean, I don't think, uh, you know, the QS, the material be you know yeah I don't, that, that doesn't seem like a very good fit because there's not just one cc form you've got knock up stun from renekton slow from uh kale charm from ari and uh it's just there's no easy cc to really uh cleanse out of i, I i'm still kind of confused at why no she did go for the quicksilver interesting um mm. maybe she's just like but the CC train really isn't, you know, anything big here, so, um... We'll see how she plays it. That's Oh, Renekton getting caught out yet again. Vayne looking to go aggressive, and they're not going to follow up on that one, unfortunately. So, Renekton does actually stay alive this time, getting oh, a little bit far forward, but, oh lord. He's got Spirit Visage and Sunfire Cape, so he's... Yeah. He's just a beast right now. It, it, he's, he's literally a raid boss in the middle of their back line, so it's, it's going to be Yeah, tough. this is going to be interesting. Hey, uh, Marshall, what's called? Uh, I have to get going. Do you mind finishing this game up and screenshotting it if you could? Yeah. I have to do. I have to play. Okay. All right. Thank Take you. Take care. Yeah. Yep. All right. We do have a lot of movement around Baron here. We could see a team fight coming in. Uh, Blue Team, for once, doesn't have the vision advantage. Uh, Renekton does have a pink ward. Oh, and this is very, very bad. Leona going aggressive. Going to get caught out. And she's going to flash out, and they're going to burn the uh, Rumble Ultimate, actually. So, uh, again, uh, just a really preemptive Rumble Ultimate, unfortunately. He does have the Rylize, but it's really not serving him. And there goes Vernecton just jumping all the way in, going 1v4. And he's actually going to have to flash out. His entire team was not there to follow. I don't know what was going on in his mind there, but he didn't burn his ultimate. He did burn flash. He did get out safely. And Wukong actually splitting up, looking to go farm top lane. Oh, and Ari getting uh, knocked away, but here comes the blue team. They're going to go aggressive. A lot of flashes there. Oh, they're going to get it. And the back line actually gets taken out. Annie doing a lot of damage. The bruisers are chasing Ari all the way out. And uh, this is getting interesting. Oh, and they're... they're that's a killing spree on Renekton yet again. So, very good job by him to <sighs> get out alive, push out that entire more or less purple team, splitting them very, very hard. And that ended up being a, a two for four with really Rumble only the, the only one to get out alive. If he'd had his ultimate there, that could have gone a completely different way. Unfortunately, he had burned it there looking to catch somebody out at the Baron right in this area here. So, now they're just gonna posture back. Renekton looking to go aggressive. He's actually going to get the stun down onto Rumble. Unfortunately, I don't think he's gonna have quite enough damage to make anything happen as Ari and Wukong just split push both the lanes, trying to get those all pushed out. Ooh, Renekton, you've been getting caught out quite a bit, actually. And they're going to head to Dragon. Does he have a ward? No, he doesn't. So this could be a, a quick movement by the purple team to catch somebody out. They could respond with a quick dragon, uh, a quick baron. They no, they're not going to be able to in time. But Leona dropping a ward here near the blue buff, and that's yet a yet another um, dragon for the blue team. Renekton has to back though, so this could be a baron attempt actually. There are only a few wards. Kale is sitting in the area though, so she sees that they're here. So we've got a four-man unit for this. Uh, Blue team sitting right here in the area around Baron. Wukong's going to back right on top of Ward. And there goes another turret for the purple team. You're getting keeping this a very, very even game. 
And purple team, they're going to do Baron, and are they going to have the damage to do this in time? Oh, the Baron is dropping very, very fast. Unfortunately, blue team's coming in. Renekton getting the haste from Kale. He's just going to get knocked out. And this is very, very low. Is he going to be able to smite it away? A lot of damage going in. There's the Rumble Ultimate. And, oh, he steals the Baron! Renekton actually getting it away. And he's just raid boss mode right now, doing a huge amount of damage. There's the ultimate coming from Graves. A huge amount of damage coming from him as well. That was a double kill for Graves. And now he's actually going to get the cleanup onto Vayne. But that is a shutdown onto Renekton and a rampage before he goes down. Wukong as well going on a rampage, actually getting the cleanup onto Vayne. And yet again, that is... Uh, just an advantage for the blue team just coming out on top barely Renekton doing huge amounts of work for his team that dive buddy combo of Wukong and Renekton just doing so much for them and uh, They're actually putting pings down on the inhibitor. They need to take this down get the supermanins flowing back across the map Oh, but Annie is in the area. She does have stun up <laughs> And Tibbers is gonna put a little bit of damage down oh, and there goes this the slow from Kale. Wukong doesn't really have the damage. He doesn't have any magic resist, unfortunately. Ooh, he's gonna go really regressive, and he actually burns his ultimate, unfortunately. Not actually managing to knock the Annie up, so she's just going to chase a little bit. Nope, just gonna force him out of the base. Now they're... Everybody is respawning, so we're gonna see another team fight here soon, possibly. So, let's get the... Bar back. I gotta figure out what my, uh... Uh, nope, that's not it. Nope. 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 Oh, what am I doing? Okay. Got that back. Um... Totally forgot how to Where'd the camera. Hmm. Okay, uh it's hotkeys interface. Toggle foggle board scoreboard items that is X. Nope, that's not it. Team fight ooh gooey. Character menu scoreboard Oh. There it is, I found it, I'm bad. Okay, and so we do have Baron still on Wukong and Kale, so there's a little bit of an advantage going to the blue team. They're gonna put some wards down. That is a very, very tanky Kale, actually. She has a Warden's Mail of her own. And Renekton actually <laughs> has Guardian Angel. That is very, very scary. And he's just gonna jump out. And there is some posturing going on around uh, this mid lane here. The blue team, they still have the advantage. That's an 8,000 gold lead to them. We've got not a whole lot of movement, unfortunately, going on right now. Uh, kind of just a stalemate right now, as people just continue to farm. Nobody really has the vision at the moment to make a, a team fight. Uh, purple team kind of dominate the vision on the bot bottom side of the half map, and a uh, blue team really has the top half of the map. So, actually, no, I take that back. Blue team has domination of the map with their vision right now, and their minions are pushing up. And both teams do have. Uh, the, well, actually, the blue team inhibitor has respawned. So, they do have the super minions pushing down in the mid lane. Ooh, we could have a catch out here. Two in the bot lane. They can make this happen. This is a very, very dangerous uh, situation for the purple team. Lee Sin needs to rejoin his team. He does have that oracles. Uh, he hasn't actually used it yet. Renekton had one. Let's see if he still got it burning. Yep. Renekton has that oracles. That is his second one of the game, actually. Uh, as the blue team look to siege up this top turret. Uh, if they dive, it could be a very, very bad idea for them. That Annie really, really hits like a truck. She's got, let's see how much AP. Ooh, 600 AP, almost on the nose for Annie. And that AoE stun is just going to hit like a truck. Especially when combined with the uh, Brumble Ultimate. Brumble, let's see how much gold he's got in his pocket. He really doesn't have anything bought right now. Only 600, so he's... Very, very behind compared to the um, 16,000 and the 15,000 for Renekton and uh, Wukong. And they're just going to clear out all of these wards. So they're more or less just completely denying vision to this purple team. If we jump over to check the fog of war for each team, 
Yeah, purple team, they have barely half a lane across the map and one more, two wards outside their base. Whereas the blue team, they have all the routes in and out of the purple team's base. They have their minions shoving up very, very hard. They're going to get yet another uh, dragon. That timer, four seconds now. And Baron, coming up in two minutes, we might not see a fight until then, so game is going to drag out a little bit further again despite the fact that the blue team seems to be just massively in the lead it's only a 10k gold advantage which isn't isn't a whole lot at this late in the game and the thing is a lot of the power is concentrated on Renekton and Wukong where Annie is really the only power player for this purple team right now Vayne is still relevant. She does have plenty of items, but at the same time, she's getting caught out. She finally has a Mercurial Scimitar. The problem is, though, it's all physical damage coming from this blue team. Like, the Ari isn't actually a major player in these team fights. She do is getting off good charm. She does have plenty of AP now that she has her own death cap and a um, Sonya's to match, but she hasn't been hitting nearly as hard as really to warrant a Mercutio Scimitar. Ooh, this this could be interesting. Just just more wards. They're setting up for Baron here. And really that's that's all they need to do. They have a five and a half item graze, which is massive. <laughs> Renekton actually has a BF sword now, and he's really, really tanky. Wukong as well. They've got a Rando and Zomin. A huge amount of armor pin on Wukong with that black cleaver, so he's just going to be shredding people down. And Kale, even, she has Warden's Mail, she has Locket of the Iron Solari, Ruby Sightstone, Merc Treads, and that ultimate is just really doing work for them. Uh, that, that we were really surprised by the Kale pick, but it's actually worked out for them. So, <laughs> Grave's going to step into the mid lane to farm. This is a, a very, very big death bush. And Purple Team, they're just, they're not able to push out of their base at all. They don't have any vision. They have no idea where this blue team is. And oh, he's, in. he's actually going to lead the way. It's, it's very dangerous for them. They're going to look to catch them at uh, Dragon, at Baron here. But they're actually really, really doing damage really, really quick. And is he going to get the seal? Oh my god, yet another seal coming in. He's actually, oh my god, he gets away. Renekton actually following in. And the tumble and... Oh, this is very, very dangerous. Oh, this is a lot of damage. They're actually going to get taken out. And there goes the Annie. She's just barely alive. And there goes Ari doing work in the back line. And this is unfortunately going to be game. We have a double kill for Annie, but that was just Wukong and the support. Ari is chasing down this Roman the top lane. There goes the Ignite. Oh, and the Charm actually misses. So Rumble is going to get out alive, but they're going to get yet another inhibitor down here in the mid lane as they go really aggressive onto um, Lena and there goes the uh, exhaust and here comes a minion wave for the blue team they might be able to close out the game here very very long death timers on this uh, purple team rumble does not have his ultimate up quite yet so this is going to be dangerous Renekton getting really really low but there goes oh the ignite taking down on the kill and he's actually going to fall uh, Gray's picking it up, and still 20 seconds across the team for this purple team. And Graves is at full health. He's going to take one of the turrets down. That's one. They're going to be able to take another as Renekton just does damage top lane. And there's the Rumble Ultimate. There's the Charm. And Ari is actually going to go. Oh! 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 oh that was a beautiful, beautiful um, Zanya's. But <sighs> Renekton's actually going to trade his life for the uh, inhibitor there. Graves getting yet another turret and then getting the heck out of dodge, so he's going to back off. So that is Baron burned across the entire board for the purple team. Nope, Rumble still has it, so we've seen two steals this game, one for each team. A really, really good job by Wongo cleaning it up, keeping his team in the game. Uh, still only a, what is that, that's a 9,000 gold advantage, barely. No, what is that? Yeah, 9,000 gold barely leading the difference for this blue team however you just looking across the map the uh, vision advantage has actually kind of decayed for the blue team they have some wards across the mid lanes they 
don't have any really in the top lane left right now. Kale is moving around the map trying to get some out there. So we'll see what they end up doing. But unfortunately, this purple team, they're more or less just trapped in the base right now. They only have one inhibitor alive. And they're looking to just... They need to keep their, the rest of their base alive. As this blue team wanders over... Or is going to pick up this blue buff for herself. She does have a void staff of her own. Uh, Annie... Six item Annie. She has DFG. Check out how much AP she has. That is an 802 and 20 ability power Annie that that's scary that is very very scary oh but Leona Leona actually putting a ward down here at red buff she has a uh, Sunfire actually and uh, Kindle Gem Ruby Crystal so that's a fairly tanky Leona as well um, Kale looking to get a frozen heart I believe and she's got that warden's mail she's got the uh, chain vest for the what's it called uh glacial shroud uh 22 seconds left on dragon so their timer is a little bit off uh they're pinging the blue buff and unfortunately blue team they're not really able to make a whole lot happen right now they're very scared of that combination of the annie and the rumble ultimates both of them have the uh void steps now so they're going to be doing a huge amount of damage uh renekton his g8 is going to be down for a little while that is a very tanky Renekton regardless. Uh -huh. 200 resist each. Wukong sitting at uh, 163, 117 for himself. Dragon did just come up, but it's really getting to the point where they don't really need any more. They need to actually just siege down the space. Ooh, and there could be a catch in the top lane. And they're pinging back. They, they know something's up. They could smell it. They were sitting on that ward there at the blue buff. A very good job by them. And Annie taking a little bit of damage from the minions there. Oh, this is very stale. Whoever wins this next team fight is probably going to win the game. Purple team, they're going to be able to just cruise down the mid lane and get it. And blue team just backs off yet again to go get dragon. And this is a 50 minute game. This is, again, very, very even. 70 to 79,000 gold for each team. A little bit closer now. Only about 8,200 actually is the difference. And... Vayne doing very well for herself. She unfortunately doesn't have another large damage item, so she's actually kind of lacking in the damage. Again, it is all really on Annie at the moment. 10 and 6 as Kale backs up to pick up a pink ward. Whew. This is going to be a very, very tense team fight here. And everybody from the blue team is just backing up. <laughs> Annie is not going to get there in time. She is going to cross wards, so she knows she's there. She actually has a... She's fully potted up. She has red pot, blue pot, and a oracles taking away. And, ooh, purple team inhibitor. I believe it's that mid inhibitor is going to be up soon, so... Blue team, they need to make something happen here. They have a few wards here and there. Uh, let's check. Uh, yep, they've actually got a decent amount of vision right now. The minions are pushing up. They only have a couple of wards in the purple team jungle. And a purple team, it's it, it's really bad for them, though. They have really nothing across the board right now. And they have no idea where this blue team is. Oh, and there comes a couple of bruisers jumping in and out of the fog of war. Oh, this is the team fight. Oh, and they jump on Annie, and he actually misses the... Um, what is that skill called? His, his Ruthless Predator there, he actually didn't get it, but they're going to get the inhibitor. There goes the charm from Ari, not actually landing out on the vein. And they're just going to drop down to bot lane and get the uh, third inhibitor. And this is going to be all three inhibitors down for the purple team. This is very, very bad. They only have a single Nexus turret left. Ooh, this is a very, very close team fight. So everybody's got everything available. We have 10 flashes, 10, 20 summoner spells, all 10 ultimates. And they're actually going to move, transfer back up top lane, and get this third inhibitor, keep it down, yet again. We have double GA for this purple team. Oh, and there goes the dive from Wukong, jumping in on top, and he actually gets kicks out. There's the ultimate. Oh, and there goes Annie, just getting dropped down by Graves. And they're just going to ignore this purple team, unfortunately, as Vayne doing work on top of Graves. And actually, she's going to get slowed out. And this is a five versus four right now. Annie is down, but these team, these team uh, health bars are dropping across the board. There goes the kill, and that is actually going to be the Nexus. Blue team finally securing the win, dropping the game, and 
Oh, that was such a controlled game. Very, very slow paced, unfortunately. But at the same time, that was a good job by the uh, blue team just stay ahead the entire time. That Renekton really doing work to make plays happen across the board. And so that is game, actually, going to blue team team... 13 I believe yep team 13 winning out so congratulations to the blue team and that is going to conclude us for the first game of uh, October 6th thanks for tuning in guys